Evening all, and welcome back to Factory Town Grand Station, where uh, I've been watching the trains do a little bit of stuff, and this train is still too long. It's still blocking the road when it's unloading, so um, I think, I mean, I, I, I like the idea of twisting it all around. I like that because it gives the opportunity of uh, having longer rails and things like that, but it does have a problem with that as well. It would definitely cause issues of um, the there being not enough space to do certain things. Um, I'd have to thin things out and make things work. So I think I think we're going to go with uh, either twisting the rails back or maybe moving the train station over. I think. I think we might go with that. We might go with moving the train station over. That's uh, that is definitely a thing that we can do. And then just have this rail be longer, further along. I mean, cutting the rail isn't a problem. Uh, the trains don't don't. You know, it could come up. It could go down. It could come back. It it wouldn't. It wouldn't affect it either way. Um, stuff is finally filling up here. The only drawback to that is, um, well, right now it doesn't unload evenly anyway, uh, because um, this is shorter, so the center package gets more goods than the outside ones. So um, I don't think moving it really matters that much. I mean, realistically, what I should have done, if I wanted it to all be better, uh, the, we shouldn't have a center on, we should just have six on the sides to make everything even. But we're not doing that now. We're definitely not doing that now. Uh, so what I am going to do then is we are going to move the train station over. So I'm just going to wait for it to run out of uh, goods. There we go. Let that flow down a bit. And what we do is we will just remove all those there and all those there and those two. Grab the station and go move to there. Like that. Then this one can come down uh, and go along there. This one can come out and go down to there. That one goes long, that one goes long, and everything should be awesome. Yeah. And then all we need to do. Is bring that along, and then bring it down like so, and then just move all this up uh, to wherever it needs to go. I'm going to get rid of that train stop, and I'm going to grab that one up there. Oh no, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. We don't we don't actually hold until until done. So that's fine. Then move these up to here, and then I want to re-link uh, things. I know it says it's linked, but I'm not sure what happens when you move goods. I don't know. And that gives us a much longer train stop. And uh, the train station's over there. Doesn't look as symmetrical, doesn't look as nice. But I can't really think of anything else. The, the, the reason I don't want to really go on about the snake in the trains is that when we get to a point where a train might need, like here, uh, I've got all the inventory sensors in here, and if I snake it inside, it's not really going to work. So, moving that over... ...would have... ...would have allowed it to, uh... ...to flow a bit better, I think. I don't know. We, 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 we have options, but I'm, I'm going to go with that one, and we're going to see what... ...what happens with that, and see how it works. Although I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. I'm <laughs> really not. Um, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It'll work. Um, I don't like it aesthetically. So it might change again. But anyway, um, what we're going to do this episode is need to make some metal conveyor belts so we can convert all our cloth ones into metal conveyor belts. That's what we need to do. 
So, what I think I need is basically this, but with um, with metal conveyors. So, let's just do that. Let's just just remove this. It's not metal conveyor. Sorry, it's, it's uh, this with um. Uh, what's the word I'm after? Do I have enough resources for that? I do, but I need to remove that. Typical. It's always one. Um, it's going to be this, but it's with um, machine trucks, is what I should say. So, slap that down there. There we go. You come off there, you go down around there. You are going to be changed to being metal conveyor belts. And you are going to be linked to... Uh, that one there. Yep, there we go. Metal conveyor belts. Awesome. Right, so that connects that up. I then need to um, remove some of this because a lot of it isn't actually required for what we're doing. I need to grab it there. Might as well build the wall back up. Oh, what are you doing? You are... Why are the tomatoes turned off? Why are all of my things turned off? Why? Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes, of course! Let's turn these all back on. Oh dear. Um, I turn these all off in preparation for changing everything over to be um, loose goods. And I haven't turned any of them back on. There we go. Oops. Yes, of course. Because we were gonna, I was gonna get rid of the packages and um, uh, replace them with um, just normal, uh, a normal storage, so that we could actually have this as being unpacked goods. So, yeah. Oops. Oh well. Oh well. Not a big problem. Smash! 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 Machine shop. And then you want to have the uh, metal conveyor belt. Thank you very much. I'm going to copy you. Uh, actually, physically copy you. Yeah. Do that. Just uh, trying to figure the exact stuff out that I want to do here. Um, I don't know why that is down there. That should be way higher. I don't know why. Something is a bit amiss there. But it doesn't matter because I don't think we need that. What we need is uh, cloth conveyor belts, iron, and gears. So. Cloth conveyor belts, iron ingots, and gears. If you're down here, gears. Okay. Dum. Dum. And we're just going to do the same here. Cloth conveyor belts. Finding gets done and gives. Yep. Then we'll just uh, copy that. Oh, copy. Copy that. Um, put up, put up. Oh, and all the things wrong there. There we go. That's better. Okay. much easier to just remove all of these and then just literally copy that just go paste paste and paste there we 
no. And then straight down, straight down. Just remembering to actually filter the stuff heading the correct directions, otherwise it'll end up on the wrong belt and things will go terribly wrong. But there we go. Awesome. Okay, and then what do you need for those ratios? You need one, four, and two. Oh, that's going to be a long train. That's going to be a very long train. Um, ah. Spelt exactly correct, but you need uh, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, and all of these off. Um, a bit when you can't turn the train filter off, like just globally on the train. Be nice if you could go here and toggle the train filter just here. Yeah. But um I still have the ability to turn it on and off per box cart, but or, or, or have it so that when you actually copy a train a box cart it, it does it with it. So okay, so we need cloth conveyor belt, we need iron ingots, iron ingots, iron ingots, iron ingots, and then gear. And gear, and that train is facing a really, really weird, really weird way. Okay. Oop. So if I say go, and then say stop there, uh, you're okay. You're okay. You would not block the line, so that would be okay. I'm still not a hundred percent sure on this yet, whether I want to stick with this or do you want to change something else? I don't. I'm undecided. We'll, we'll leave it for now, and uh, if we end up in a situation where just we need way more carry capacity than the trains go, we will look at redesigning some things. Uh, I could twist the trails in here to make even longer trains and do things like that, um, but... I don't know. I don't know. That's going to bring back 5,200 iron plates, isn't it? I'm going to bring back some iron gears and cloth conveyor, which means this, this, although the train will drop off stuff equally, it doesn't, if that makes sense. Um, it'll go when the gears drop down, although it should, everything should be balanced on this, really. Um, everything should be, uh, sort of, yeah, as 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 an item gets used, because to make one belt, it takes this much things here. So it will take four iron plates out. So although two hundred um, crates will get dropped in, one crate will be used to make one metal conveyor belt. But it, one crate will be used to make four for the cloth conveyor belt. So so it balances out, or it should it should balance out. I should say. Let's copy this. Um, Oh, no, mistake. Let's copy this, hold control and click it down so it gets all its things. Yeah, awesome. And then we need to grab a... Um, oh, oh, come on. Those, no. And then you need four. I'm gonna have... A little conveyor belts and turn that off. If I copy it and then paste it on all of them, uh, it doesn't turn off the train filter. It's a weird thing, but fine. But fine. Okay. And I'm going to bring this down here. Uh, and put it there. And say, uh, go. Just so we get some fuel. That's all. Right. Okay. We've got loads of stone, and I don't even know what else up here at the moment. Um... We need cloth up here to make more cloth conveyor belts, but we've got loads of cloth conveyor belts, and I, and I do mean loads. We've got like um, 400 more than we actually need stored in there, and we have a whole train full. 
So, yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's go and have a look at this train that I've just made and see whether it actually is okay. This one. This is potato, carrots, and all them bits and pieces. That's fine. Are you the one I'm after? Yep, there we are. Awesome. So what do you currently need? You need cloth conveyor belts and you need gears. Come down this one here because this one has gears. We've got loads of gears. Awesome. I don't think we're making the gears at the moment. Nope, gears to be made like here somewhere. So we're not making any gears at the moment, but that's okay. And uh, then you need cloth conveyor belts, which are... That last one. Yeah. And there's loads in there, so we're okay. Take out these side routes as well and just have the trains go up and down and only go to the side routes if they need it. That would speed up progress a little bit. Because they don't need to go down there unless they are um, the west or the east trains. Because I don't think anything needs fuel like this. I, I don't think... But we're going to do that. We're going to do that to try and speed up some stuff. Okay, and we're going to have a sorter uh, there and there. This one is going to be sorted to being west. And uh, this one is going to be sorted to being east. It means that this train is not a west train. So it's going to come down and just go straight. So that, that will speed up our pickups um, and I'm still going to leave these two was here um, in case a train goes I don't think it will but I'll leave them there you know something might happen I don't know I don't know just just in case a train gets wrong and it will bounce around and go there like the top ones here it'll just force trains to go back into the system do what it's got to do uh, but anyway um, here it comes it parks up it does leave enough space for the uh, track to be free behind and then it carries on, which is weird. Right, okay, so I would have to reassign them. Yeah, okay, there we go, right, fair enough. Okay, and there we go, we're making, we are making cloth conveyor belts. Awesome sauce. Uh, I am actually gonna remove uh, those outside too. I'm going to move the centre one from there, and I'm actually going to turn the barn around because I want to store some, please. Okay. You're not going to get in as many as you do here. These only take four seconds to make, whereas uh, these take 12 seconds to make, so they are much slower to create. But yeah, so we'll be able to get some uh, more metal conveyor belts, and we'll be able to upgrade everything to metal conveyor belts, which will be awesome. Um, but what I need to do is I need to bring some cloth up to get these chugging along again. What will they use? One, two, and one. Is that what we got here? Stone brick, wood wheel, wood wheel, and cloth. Why did I do cloth last? Not that it matters. It doesn't matter the order. Well, we've got loads of stone brick there as well. That's not required. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, the, the, other, the other thing I can do as well, um, which was an idea I had a long time ago, uh, and I'm just throwing it out there because, you know, it's uh, nice to brainstorm, is to have multiple trains delivering stuff. So... Um, I think we, ha we had that before, when we had the rails go all the way down here. Um, I had multiple trains picking things up and dropping stuff off. So instead of having the one train with all of these on there, I'd have one train with stone brick on, and then one train with wood on, and then one train with um, cloth on, and then have uh, them all come to the same station, which I could do using uh, side stops. But I think just having the one train going around doing its thing at the moment is probably the better way of going. But um. But that's an option. 
that is definitely an option. Okay, so what are you doing? Your depleted mana crystals. Oh, really? So you're driving around doing absolutely nothing for. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Fuel is pretty much free. Um, but it costs yellow coins, but fuel is pretty much free. Ah, ah, there are problems here. Can you spot them? have any fuel. Hmm. These are the same. Wow. Oh, I must have copied them and not actually put in the fuel slots. Let's double check them all up here. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Window sticky keys go away. Uh, haven't had that pop up for a very long time. Wow. Uh... That's all fine. Okay. It's just this one here that's not because that's where the base currently is. Which isn't a problem. I don't think there is actually a train here, is there? Or are you the train? You're Yeah, there we go. You're the home train. Okay. So you're picking up like whatever happens to be in the very first slot. And that's it. And then you're constantly taking stuff out and filtering it around and doing things and, and the problem is is that if uh like that's just picked up eggs. And if our eggs are full, see the eggs? Where are the eggs? There are the eggs. Egg, eggs are full, that train's just going to go round and round in circles for the rest of time until we use eggs. And we're not using eggs anywhere, so... But it will be fine. It will be fine because it will eventually filter out and do its thing. Okay, so you're picking up that. Our axes are stopped because we're not actually supplying any uh, reinforced planks. But that's fine. Not a problem. How are our mines doing underground here? Fine, you don't need pickaxes at all, really. You have a massive amount of area. I will supply them with pickaxes, I do want to do that. But, um, I'm not terribly fussed about it right now. What I'm hoping is that this train actually takes down the uh, cloth enough for this to trigger and to drive away so that this can start consuming things and doing stuff and... Yeah, in fact that doesn't even need to be there anymore. I don't know. Oh yeah, I was unpackaging them uh, because we actually run out of cloth conveyor belts and I had so many of them packaged up. We should be okay. We should be okay. This is um, taking a bit longer than I expected to get around. Then this is one of the furthest extremities. This is actually the furthest distance away from the, the base you can get. So this is second furthest. So yeah, okay. Could I have more trains? More. more? more things to it but if, if I add any more to it I've got to add them all evenly so if I add one more cloth conveyor belt I need to add another four iron and another two pack gears to balance it all and that's just simply not going to work that's going to make that train way way too large It should be okay because I think these are actually gonna sort of they, they back up and then just as they start running out um they uh the train comes back so I think we're gonna be okay and the only way I can make trains faster is to make magic rails and I'm not doing that I'm gonna state that right now I'm not upgrading my tracks to magic rails because of the pink glow thing that comes off of them the, the trains actually float above magic rails and go along with pink sparks coming out the side of them which is it's it's awesome looking but it does your eyes in after a certain amount of time um so having every train running around do that would just absolutely do my head in i think so uh yeah we'll um 
we'll leave that. We'll leave that as it is. I think. Uh, what I may do, actually, now I think about it, turn off those two grabbers there. Just have the one. And in fact, it can be a metal conveyor belt now. Bump. Bump. So, uh, what I'm going to do is let's pause the game. Turn this round. And uh, I think I'm going to have a little bit of logic here. I have an inventory sensor. I'm going to have a math block. And I'm going to go inventory sensor to the math block, math block to that. If it is greater than uh, 250 or 500. Okay. So if there's more than 500 in here, then turn that on. And the idea behind that is that then we will always store 250 um, conveyor belts. And I feel as if that's that's a good way of, of sort of doing it. There we go. And I might do that in some other places as well where we need things, um, like with the iron, for instance, or, or maybe even here. We could do it here. This this would work wonders for it. So why is that only? Something is not right here. Oh yes, yeah, that's not right. Move the package down. Uh, move the barn down by one. Might as well use metal conveyor belts. Bump and uh, copy. Pause the game. There we go. So if it's lower than than 500, it will keep 500 in storage for us. So we always have 500 in storage, and then it will let the rest go to be packaged to be moved on. Cool. Okay. We're going to get two more cuts, so you, uh... It's longer to fill up, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so this is all doing what I want it to do here. And then as you get more... You are taking and dropping off. And, uh... Yeah, none of these look like they're starving. Everything's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So, there we go. We have cloth conveyor belts coming in. Uh, metal conveyor belts even coming in. And uh, everything is awesome. Right, so, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun.